Hi, uh, my name is Bill Gifford. Uh, my company is Gifford Marine. We're located in Northfield, New Jersey. This is my assistant, Tommy. Hey, and uh, what we have in front of us here is an alternative fuel generator system that we've been developing. And um, I'm going to go over it with you, and then uh, we're going to run it and, and show you the different fuels that it can burn. And the main idea from the beginning was for us to take the contaminated fuel and be able to burn it and use it in a way that, uh, you know, we can generate electricity and uh, save ourselves some money at the same time. But uh, you can let it run for hours on end, and it just keeps on running. So what we've got now, we've taken our generator and we've made it portable, put it on a nice little trailer, and uh, it can burn just about any kind of fuel. Uh, and, and I don't think there's too many engines that I know about that gas engines that can run diesel fuel. This absolutely can burn diesel fuel and like a million dollars, no smoke, it's clean. We can, we can burn gasoline with a 25 to 75 ratio. Uh, I believe that we can take gas, diesel, and water uh, and mix it together and it'll run uh, fine. Uh, so, you know, the good thing about this, it could be used in emergency situations where you don't have gasoline available, but maybe you have diesel, or maybe you have watered down uh, gas after a flood or something, and that's what you got to work with. This thing could work with that. Um, it, could, it could work with uh, one of about 15 different fuels that I know about. I mean, biodiesel, ethanol, paint thinner, heating oil, uh, alcohol, butane, uh, propane, a uh, combination of these things with water, so all that's possible. Um, and uh, you know, you can use it in farm equipment. Uh, you can use it for marine uses. Um, you know, it's it's limitless. I guess what what you could do with it. We we also have a problem uh, in the marine business since uh, they put the ethanol and mix the ethanol in with the gas. And now if you leave it too long in, in the boat, then uh, it's tearing up the hoses and it's uh, destroying the fuel systems. And now they're talking about going to 15%. So a unit like this can, can absolutely run that type of a fuel without any problems. Um, so that's a help to us. And what I'd like to do eventually is to be able to take a bigger generator, maybe a 30KW or something, and put this technology on that and uh, save, save on some electric around here. The output of this generator is 7.5 kW, and that, that would be enough to power a normal household. We're going to put straight gas in here to get her going. We'll, we'll start out with straight gas to demonstrate how it runs on that. Now right now, right now you can see the bubbling action, but also, the foggers are, are starting to work, so that's on straight gas. Now you got to give it more air here. All right, now you can see it's running with water and gas mixture. Perfect. You can see also that our, our pump's not on and our circulator's not on. I've left them off. All right? Now, I just took a temperature reading on here uh, before we shut her down. That was, uh, it had been, the exhaust had been uh, 620 degrees there. So we'll see what it gets up to now. But obviously it's going to run cooler with the water in there. Once you get your settings right, you can just leave her like that and that's it, you know. She'll, uh, she'll keep running for hours once she gets uh, set up right. Now right now, we're running on whatever's in this tank. It's a combination of water, diesel fuel, and gasoline. And if you look at the color here, you can see that that's diesel. That's the color of 
color now is uh, I, think, I think in the tank we've got about five gallons of diesel and uh, about a half a tank and about, we got about 14 gallons of fuel in there right now. You should be able to see that that's running on diesel now. Uh, what I think we'll do is uh, shut her down and give it a try, put some water in with that diesel. See how it runs there on that. I'm going to take these caps off and I'm going to add water. I'm going to add water to this diesel because this is a new uh, this is a new experiment for me. Uh, you know, I've only only run the diesel in there a couple times, so I want to see uh, I want to see how it reacts with the water in it. Yeah, how about we take some of Tommy's Gatorade here and just add some Gatorade to it too to see what happens. He won't mind. That's what he gets for going home early. That, now that pump, pump is running and it's stirring up the uh, Gatorade and the water and the diesel. The whole nine yards there. But it is running. I don't know which one it likes better. Maybe it likes the Gatorade better. Sounds pretty good. Good ad for Gatorade. <laughs> I think it runs better on that than anything. Uh, well, I guess we tried just about everything I can think of, and I um, we've seen it run on straight gas, gas and water, diesel, diesel and water, diesel and Gatorade and water. Uh, as you can see that uh, uh, the engine actually can run on different fuels and I don't think there's too many uh, I don't think there's too many gasoline engines around that can run on diesel at least not that I'm aware of uh, so the system uh, system works pretty good the whole idea is to get it running where you can use alternative fuels and uh, in emergency situations or contaminated gas, contaminated diesel, uh, whatever it is you might have. You've got tremendous fuel savings in this. I mean, it's a big reduction just on gas when it goes from 1.66 an hour to one an hour. And that's without adding any water to it. If you add 20% water in there, without going overboard, you've got 20% on top of that. So I, I don't see where the downside is on this. Um, and I encourage anybody out there to uh, uh, try and develop it more and you know let, let me know uh, what they think. Um, and I'd just like to thank everybody on YouTube that I've gotten information from. Uh, they've all been a big help and uh, I'm really glad that these people are out there trying. And uh, once again, thank you.